Shake it. All right, folks, continuing coverage here at the Consumer Electronics Show. I got Gabe from Tune Up Media, and oh, I've got a hot one for you. How many of you have got like, you know, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 10,000 songs on your uh, iTunes playlist or in Windows Media? And, and, and how many of you have that all organized? <laughs> My stuff's really organized. Gabe, how are you going to help me? Well, we've created um, a solution to this problem. I, like you, have this problem that I have huge music collection, a lot of tracks in my collection with bad or missing metadata. Uh, so it's, you know, artist spelled in many different ways, missing track names, that horrible track 07 that we all have sort of lurking in the bottom of our collection. And we've created an application that solves that. As well as solves that, it brings a lot of other value to your music collection as well. So what we've done is work very closely with Grace Note, whose booth we're in here to leverage their music ID technology to solve a solution. I can show you a demo right here if you'd sure, like. Sure, I'm going to switch over. And yep. you, you, well, actually, let's do it from this side. I think tell this me is, where to stand. It, just so he can see the screen. Go yep. ahead. All right, terrific. So this is the tune-up companion. Just, um, just demo and I'll hold the mic. All right, mic. great, terrific. Um, and what you do is you download this application. Uh, this application is about 10 megs. You download it once, and then every time you use iTunes, the application will come up, yep. okay? And it locks right into the side of iTunes. So first what we do is we analyze your collection. And what you're seeing here is a quick snapshot of your collection. It lets you know how clean or dirty your collection is. And after it does that, and, and it does this based on missing artist track titles, genre information, album cover art, and the like. Um, and then once you do that, what we've created here is the first totally intuitive drag and drop method of being able to clean up bad metadata. This here is a perfect example of what a lot of our collections look like. Missing artist album genre year information, the track information not being exactly where we want it to be. So what I do is simply drag and drop into the tune-up sidebar. This is the clean feature, and I'll walk through some of the other features as well. And what you're going to see here in a minute is that it's registering the tracks. You hit the start button, and it's actually gathering waveform signatures for each of these individual tracks. And what used to look like this is now going to look like this. All right. So I'm going to do a quick search on Devo here and you're seeing the dirty data here. We're gonna hit the clean button, and what you're gonna see is these tracks start to disappear. And what used to look like that is now totally clean. You have artists, albums, genre, and your information. We actually have an auto-clean function that's gonna be working as well. But you just hit one button and it goes through your entire collection and cleans all that up. Not to mention that it finds missing album cover art as well. And that'll make more sense as I walk you through some of the other features. You know, one of the things that happens to a lot of people is, is they load iTunes maybe the first time, they start importing their library, and iTunes just does its own thing with that library. Right. And it just, you know, if you've got a naming convention already set up, it just destroys it. So go ahead and talk how you guys are handling that and yeah, also... Yeah. Absolutely. So, you know, that falls into the issue of, you know, these sort of power users that have their own naming conventions and that. Within advanced settings, you'll be able to set all of that. So it absolutely does not affect any settings that you already have. On top of that, we have an undo feature. So if there's anything that we've named the way you don't want it to be named, you simply hit the undo button and it'll go back to the way it was named before. Very cool. Okay, yeah. continue. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, absolutely. So the other cool thing that we're doing is we're scanning your entire music collection and letting you know whenever anyone in your collection is coming to town. We all have this issue of being like, darn, you know, I missed this, this concert that came through in one of my favorite bands. Sorry, my life. Right? I mean, mine too. <laughs> Traumatized by that, you know, in high school where everyone would show up the next day with a concert t-shirt and we didn't have it. We don't want that to happen to anyone. With this tune-up concert feature, you'll never miss another concert again. Scans your entire collection, lets you know when they're coming to town, and you can actually buy tickets through this application as well and store them to your calendar and invite friends and that sort of thing. The other very cool feature that we're bringing to the table is what we call our Explore feature. So now I have all this great clean metadata, and I'm listening to Devo. What we've done is taken the best of what the web has to offer and bringing it into the context of iTunes. So rather than go and find your YouTube videos on your favorite bands in YouTube, you can actually do it right through iTunes passively. You listen to the track, we present it, and you can watch it directly in here. Not to mention album recommendations and all sorts of other cool things. 
The very cool thing about our Explore tab is we're actually going to be opening up these APIs so developers can create their own little widgets to pop in here as well. Imagine guitar tabs, chords, and that sort of thing as well. So basically the best of what the web has to offer, we bring right into the context of your iTunes experience. So I'm going to guess here that you're giving this away for free, we and are. then you guys are, uh, by providing all the good metadata and the tie-ins, you guys are monetizing through the ticket sales and that type of stuff? Well, that's a great question. There's a number of ways to do it. We have a free version that will always be free, but that's going to limit the number of files you can clean. We're still working on how many that is. Substantial enough for a, for a, a decent-sized collection, probably not enough for a huge collection. For a price point that's very reasonable, either a subscription at probably about 12 bucks a year, a buck a month, or a lifetime fee for between 20 and 25 dollars, you'll be able to clean everything all the time. Otherwise, the free version will let you clean up, you know, a number of files a month. Share it on Facebook; we'll give you more files to clean up. Email it to your friends; we'll give you more files to clean up, and keep cleaning it up. Uh, but we'll we'll be monetizing that through advertising and that sort of thing, sponsorships. So for those that are adding to their libraries all the time, hopefully legally, yeah. that they, uh, you know, that's going to give them good, the good metadata is tied in with GraceNote. That's in GraceNote, they've got a great library of, of database to be information. Clear, they've absolutely set the industry standard yeah. in metadata. Uh, they have a waveform signature database of 15 million tracks right now and growing every week. There's a very clear and concise reason that we've attached ourselves to GraceNote in the context of the clean feature. They have the best that's out there. Where can uh, consumers and, uh, and music fans find your product? Well, they can find it at tuneupmedia.com. Uh, they'll be able to download it. We actually go live at the end of February. In the meantime, you can sign up for our upcoming beta um, at the website. Uh, again, it's tuneupmedia.com. And we're actually thinking about offering a discounted price for pre-orders. So keep an eye out in the next couple of weeks for that as well. Outstanding. So tuneupmedia.com. It's not released yet, but you can sign up for the beta. And uh, get, get that uh, early special. That's always good, too. Yeah, we like that. Gabe, thanks for spending some time Thank with me tonight. Yep. Kick it.